Hey, I'm Mike Perez. I'm the development coordinator for the OpenStack Foundation. Uh, basically leading a variety of different cross-project initiatives within the OpenStack project itself. Great, thank you for being here today. So, can you expand a little bit more on what your role means from a cross-project coordination perspective, yeah. specifically? So, we have PTLs that are focused on a particular project, Sender, Nova, Neutron, and so on. Uh, my sort of view is all the projects. Um, so I take feedback that comes from you know, such working groups like product working group, which are actual user feedback, and taking that information to you know, identify, okay, that particular thing makes sense in these projects, and then trying to keep the communication going between those projects and helping them to achieve that. Otherwise, certain initiatives, like it may only end up in like two projects, but it makes sense to be a cross project, so we can't exactly advertise it as a feature then. Great. So, how has the community addressed cross project requirements so far? Yeah, so I would say it's something we're definitely working on for sure, and I think that's um, kind of why I'm switching sort of my initiative and why the found OpenStack Foundation is having me help and dedicate my time to that. Um, so in particular, like right now, we have, uh, you could take things like such as uh, having multi-tenant, or sorry, hierarchy tenants inside of OpenStack. Right now, there's only Sender that I'm aware of that actually implements this feature that Keystone has provided us. It would make sense for us to say to our users, hey, that feature to have projects within projects to have that in Nova and Neutron and so on. So then it's not just like, okay, a matrix of like, Cinder supports this and that's it. And so what changes are being made to help with this type of cross-project communication? Yeah, so right now um, I have been attending a variety of different design, sum design summit sessions and there are so many cross-project sessions that end up being double booked. So I try to pick a handful of them. Um, so in particular right now, we have, uh, you know, there's where Cinder actually let in uh, sort of the third party CI and having that across all different vendors. So there's about 72 different vendors that we actually support behind this third party CI. It's a great way in the project for us to actually have confidence in the quality of the drivers that we put out in a release and we recommend to our operators to use, which then ends up being a great experience for the users. Um, we want to make that not just within Cinder, but also across other projects. So um, what, one of the great things that came from this particular design summit is we have consensus across the vendors in Ironic. So bare metal vendors are all on board with working with us on supporting this idea. And you know, there's other projects like Neutron where we want to bring this idea as well. It's been a thing that has been tried in the past and I think um, Putting somebody like myself that is the dedicated resource to go ahead and help with that initiative, I think it's going to be great, especially not coming, focusing on any particular feature in that project itself. Um, and I would say, lastly, um, distributed lock management is a big thing. Um, so a lot of projects itself have to support the ideas of, of HA or highly availability, and the idea is for example, you want to have multiple, uh, you know, OpenStack services to support, you know, whatever the thing is. So you take Cinder, for example, you want multiple Cinder services to talk to the same backend storage. And if one of those services goes down, then you can't access your backend storage anymore um, to be able to create new volumes. So to have multiple of those. Problem is there's issues with state and trying to keep state across all of those different um, different services and making sure that they don't uh, you know, clobber each other and doing the same actions. So, but it's not just Cinder that has that problem. It's also a ver like projects like Heat and Ironic that also want this as well. So within the, the design summit session for Mataka, we actually came to consensus on a solution so that we could bring that across. So it's not projects going off and doing their own thing and then we make the operators lives a little scary because then they have to support Zookeeper and etcd and console, all these different kind of solutions. So coming to consensus has been a huge win. And so I think it's gonna be a great experience going up to, back to the operators. Great, well congratulations on joining the OpenStack Foundation 
and thank you for coming on Subweezer TV today. Yeah, thank you.